Today on Great Places Seen, more from the annual U-Camp Rally of Tiny Trailers with much-needed maintenance. Tech questions answered. Tracking wildlife on the Ohio plains? Well, no matter. We're all smiles as we fly into another day of new camp fun. There's plenty of room. Come along for the ride. With UCAMP well underway, the early festivities were a good time to see old friends, meet some new ones, while I begin to learn to adapt to this type of social setting on my own. Yes, it's a challenge. But the more immediate challenge is a short night for me with a very busy day ahead. I'll be underway much earlier than usual. Well, 7 a.m. It's an early start for today because I'm getting my Aldi serviced in just an hour from now. Yeah, a little bit of uh, dew on the window there. Good Tuesday morning, and it is a busy Tuesday morning. I'm having my Aldi system flushed today. Then there is a hot breakfast over at uh, UCAMP, a TAB 400 seminar, and a group photo, among other things. So, getting the day started early today. See the Truma folks out here circling. For my Aldi service, I just made sure that this area was all clear so the tech could get in there quite easily and uh, my glycol bottle is right here in the front. Some are located in other areas of the trailer depending on your model year. I have already taken the bed apart. Here is the Aldi system right underneath where I sleep. The Aldi system and access to your Nautilus system is right under the bed. You just lift the panel up, there it is. You'll find this panel is held down by two screws. I've taken the two screws out and just leave them out so it's easier to pull the panel up. It's not moving around because it's a pretty tight fit and it's under all the bedding, so it really stays put. Another tip when you're lifting this panel, always look for the springs that have the screws in them and you can lift it up with one of those. Well, this is Zach. He's going to flush my glycol today. And what do they say, Zach, every two years, roughly? Yep, that's what we recommend. Now, what does it do to your system if you don't flush it? Uh, the, the fluid just starts breaking down, is what it is. The Whatever they put in it, the, it just starts breaking down. And, uh, and it's all aluminum inside, right? Um, Aluminum and it's got the rubber, the rubber piping too. Now here they had changed the fluid. Yeah, a couple years ago, um, Truma had came out with a different. Um, I don't know if they changed the formula or what exactly they did, but we were just advised that they were changing it. It's a completely different color, so it's pretty easy to spot if you have the old stuff. Zach sets up the pump, goes back under to close the drain, and most of my old fluid is going to the back of his truck. How many you figure you're servicing during U-Camp? Um, we actually are doing twice as many this year as we've ever done. So from this tank, are you exchanging fluid? Is that what you're doing? Yep. So it's going in, I'm pumping out of this one. It's going in your reservoir, pushing it through the system. 
and then it's coming back out of this tube and just flushing the whole system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not unlike what you would do with your car for no. different things. It's almost like a transmission flush kind of same yeah. idea. Yeah. Basically, you just want to go till because from draining it on the outside, it gets air pockets. So you just want to push all those air pockets out. That's basically what we're doing. Dude, Zach, thank you. you so much. Yeah, absolutely, good to meet you. And uh, hope you have a great week. Oh yeah, the weather and, looks and, awesome. And, and and good luck. Thank you. Good luck with all the servicing out here. I appreciate it. I mean, you got you got plenty to work on. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, all we, right. we appreciate yep. you. Have a good week. Thank you. Zach also noticed my door shade panel was loose. I just kept pushing it back in. But Zach put a couple of screws inside the frame, and now it's nice and tight. Thanks, Zach. That's new camp, always above and beyond. Beyond the rally is where I'm at. Time to make the drive and try to catch that very end of the hot breakfast. Walnut Creek and Sugar Creek are about six miles apart, so the sign says. But it's almost nine miles along the main routes between Timbercrest Campground and Winklapleck Grove, which means round trip for five days adds up to about 100 miles this week. There is a more direct route along very local roads, but at slower speeds and perhaps more time, well, I guess I should have tried it at least once. But this drive is easy, scenic. I did see the local sheriff several times too, fortunately not standing by my window. managed to slip in right at the end of breakfast. All right, sir. Oh, yeah. You can Perfect. pile it on. Thank Alrighty. you. Alrighty, and how about some sausage? You bet. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Some fruit and yogurt. Yeah. Well, now that my surface is done, I'm here for the hot breakfast and uh, Tab 400 Tech Talk. So we are just going to take questions, any questions you have and then we'll try to answer it. If we don't know the answer, we'll either just uh, not answer or make something up. So who wants to go first? Who has a question? It's right over there. <laughs> because some, sometimes they have... She got you there. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't work. When on the phone, you can get away with that. <laughs> It was? Okay. Okay. So then, possibly yes. The probe sensors we use, they're not super accurate. They're reliable, but not super accurate. A quarter inch under one third, and it's going to show empty. You know, if you can help it, but I've seen it a few times there's a ventilation setting for the door. Yeah, probably three to five years. Um, and on an AGM, you you probably on a cold if you're going to store it in the winter time i would store it in a take it take it out and store it in the garage if you don't if you don't store your camper in a heated area it doesn't have to be heated but it shouldn't be super cold it, that is probably one of the better ones on the market lis it's a lithium switch and you can visit if you have more questions about batteries battleborn's having a talk it's what this afternoon a lot of good info as always although it may be a bit much for some no time to rest we're gathering for the annual group photo we got one more golf cart coming dave needs to hurry up it's taken with a drone what's that old saying it's like trying to herd cats A good first shot. I'm a dog person. Now everyone's waving. Yeah. 
Thank you. I know, I found out. I was like, okay, I need to have it. Of course, I'm playing with a camera not looking. I am looking at trailers. Since I'm not staying here this year, I'll take a good stroll around the park and check out the many different setups and creative decor. Here's a rarity built only in 2020. It's a spacious trailer that comfortably holds four, light and compact. Perhaps New Camp will revisit it someday. This is where we were last year. And behind the fence, wildlife. Well, not really. These elk live within a double-fenced farm. Looking at them, though, you might feel as if you were suddenly out west, watching these majestic beasts as they roam. Here it seems they're mostly looking to stay cool and away from the bugs. Really no different than us. from one herd to another.
there's a truck camper from the factory. It's quiet for the moment at the tents. But still busy with work among the campers. I guess I'm the only DC representative here. I'm heading back after an already full day. My door is nice and tight. Like many, it had a gap, almost to the point where a flat screwdriver could be wedged in. I loosened the striker plate and pushed it back toward the inside of the trailer. Perhaps not the best of looks, I added some wood shims to help keep it in place. Now the door is tight and secure. I still have to put the bed back together. But here's a quick view of the Aldi system. The red tank is Aldi Flow, which provides continuous hot water. The system also uses glycol as a transfer fluid to take heat through separate lines around the trailer to evenly warm the air. The yellow flaps, when pulled up, drain cold and hot water. About every week or 10 days of travel, the hot water should be drained so unnecessary air cushion can be restored inside the boiler. Otherwise, prolonged use without the air cushion could eventually lead to a system failure. Here's the water pump, easy to access. It's about 70 bucks if you need a new one. Don't forget to periodically check and clean the water filter too. Outside are three choices to hook up cable or an antenna. It's the middle one marked cable. Time to put everything back together. I always get the sense that the fabric side should be up. But actually, with the cutout over here, it tells me that this is the side that goes up. It's the side with the tag showing. In lieu of a mattress topper, I'm layering for now with an old sleeping bag, tent pads, two blankets, then a bottom sheet and a duvet cover. Yeah, it works. Of course, not blocking the heat vent. To help block the heat outside, ice cream. Lots of campers from Winkleplek have come over. The line lasted a very long time. Next time, the rest of UCAMP 24. Our GPS is set for a factory tour. A few words from New Camp's founder. And a look at the newest model now available.